Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. If you've not been here before, this is a series premieres every Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time. The live chat is like a, a virtual cafe, a makeup group, support group, whatever that means to you. So if you are feeling low, lonely, or you just want to chat makeup, then this is the place to be. So I'm going to crack on and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. It is still so hot here. It started raining. We've got the rain, but it's like a muggy, heat, sticky, horrible, just not pleasant. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice to have the rain because fingers crossed that means we've got the thunderstorm coming and we need that to clear the air seriously it's so bad we've had the fan on overnight because it's just too hot too too hot you know, i didn't sleep um too well last night so i i watched a lot of um Kind of true crime things on youtube mainly that chapter i love him mike is awesome and he gets some of the most bizarre cases just i don't know how he does it i don't know where he finds them but yeah he is pretty cool i do recommend him so for foundation today i'm going in with the abh luminous foundation in the shade 220n so what have you guys been up to this week have you had a good week has anything exciting happened the what i class as exciting from this week is we watched some good films um we watched the hitman's bodyguard i love that highly recommend that film so funny so funny if you need a laugh it's got you <laughs> um but yeah love that film we watched um guardians of the galaxy one and two um so obviously you saw that i i uh received those i believe while i was filming comic chameleon i can't be 100 percent sure now because my brain just plays tricks on me <laughs> But yeah, there's, there's that. Um, we also have been watching the Harry Potter films. That's kind of uh, the go-to when we can't think of what to put on. Um, we have the full box set and I love all of them. My least favourite is the first one. But I think I find it difficult because they're just so young and it's uh like centered around for young kids doing stuff um but yeah i think that's my least favorite yeah my favorite are the last two love them and my favorite character from harry potter of all the films has to be severus snape i love him i just when i read the books i was just obsessed with him from then and then when the films came out I was still just as obsessed I think they cast him so perfectly and it is such a shame that the actor has passed away and he's an amazing actor that'll do that will do so for concealer I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Almond Again, love this. Um, and so yeah, my all-time favourite film is Con Air. Um, and also The Day After Tomorrow. I love that film so much. Um, there's a few other films I have a soft spot for. Um, Calamity Jane. I love that. That's like completely different to 
all the others. Avatar, I love Avatar. Um, what else is there? Hmm. I can't think. I cannot think for the life of me. When it comes to series, um, Criminal Minds is an absolute favourite. We have now seen all of them. Um, watched it all the way through. Um, another favourite was Gilmore Girls. I loved that. Watched that all the way through. Um, Gossip Girl. Loved that. Um, what else is there? Dexter, watched all the way through. Um, True Blood, which I still need to pick up on again. What else is there? Crikey. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's a hair on me. It's still a hair on me. It's a cat hair. Is it a cat hair? Yes. Huh. They do not tickle, don't they? <laughs> so the one thing about where my cat's got such fine, fluffy fur, it's so difficult when they're stuck to you to even see them. Especially when you need glasses and you're not wearing them, which I'm guilty of. <laughs> I do wear them when I really have to though. But I do like to play Forza and I definitely need my glasses if I don't want to crash every five seconds. So I do wear them for that. So my daughter has lent me one of her fans for uh, at the moment where it's been so hot I really struggle with overheating. It's been worse since I've put on weight obviously with being in pain all the time and not being so mobile uh, i've put on a lot of weight and as such i suffer even more so with the heat i didn't think that was possible but there we go <laughs> never mind so yeah my daughter's lent me the the fan to use um because i was using like an <laughs> um, one of them bubble wrap envelopes um one of these and I was using that to fan myself and she was like mom just wait there you can borrow one of my fans so yeah I think it, it does look a lot better than uh, waving one of those envelopes around <laughs> hmm. So the powder I'm going in with is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, firm favourite. And let me just make sure they're not creased. And then just take a little bit under the eyes there. And then just kind of dabbing the rest over the face, pressing it in. I don't like to use too much powder because I have aging skin and if you use too much, well, if I use too much, I just look kind of What's the word? It kind of shows up all fine lines, wrinkles and dry patches, so yeah. I do have favourite powders. Why are you flashing? One second. I think that worked. When in doubt, hit it. Yeah, I think that worked. Okay, so <laughs> let's crack on. I don't actually mean that. <laughs> you shouldn't really hit things when they don't work. 
that. Whew. I do really, really rate this powder. It is such a beautiful powder. I do have some favourites. I'm umming and ahhing about doing maybe a favourites video or a kind of, I don't know, top five or top ten. I don't know. I'm not quite sure where what I want to do with that because I do still have my eyeliner collection to film. Um, what else do I have to film? Eyeliner collection. I know there's something else. Oh, my single shadow collection. I still haven't filmed that yet either. They are coming, I promise. Um, but I do have the new Kaleidos Flower Punk palette that I need to film with. Uh, the new Revolution and Soph palette and I've also got a highlighter palette and lip set from that collection. And there's also, I have the full new Lethal Cosmetics collection. There are not enough hours in the day or days in the week or, or weeks in the month. Something like that. Well, I also have Alien Cosmetics to try. And Creature Cosmetics. Is that it? I'm not sure. I'm never sure. But the Creature Cosmetics, I have a palette and a lipstick coming. Um, they're due to arrive any day. The new Nomad Palette America's Parks, I think that is due to arrive today. So I have my daughter waiting downstairs. It's so strange to kind of have my daughter home all of the time. Like, of all the years of taking her to school and then, like, her walking to school on her own, like, growing up. And now it's just like, she, there's no school. Like, she's all of a sudden become... A young adult rather than a kid. So for brows I'm using the e.l.f. liner and brow gel in the shade espresso. I've been falling in love with this all over again. I just think it's brilliant and we still haven't dried up which is unusual because I've tried a few of these kind of pot gel liners and they tend to dry up so quickly this hasn't as yet so fingers crossed i may actually have a pomade or brow gel that i can recommend i'm hoping that is the case i'm still like reserving judgment I really need to uh, hurry up and find the money to get my brows tattooed on. Just to wake up with brows and not look almost like... Because I think it almost looks like I haven't got any if you're looking from a distance. Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, for those of you that are new, um, I'm, I suck at putting on my brows whilst filming. I have, however, made a start on the how-to series, or filming anyway. Um, I say made a start, I still deleted it, but I think I know where I'm kind of tripping myself up. So, fingers crossed, I will, uh, I will have that series started ASAP. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm doing. 
not sure I can actually see what I'm doing in all honesty. I think I should probably get one of those like magnifying mirrors for doing my brows. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong when I'm filming it. Obviously I have to hold the mirror like out of view of the camera. So maybe that's where I'm going wrong because obviously I can't do this like I usually would. So yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of liking doing almost like slightly scruffy brows, almost like falsely laminated. Yeah, whatever you call that, I've been I've been enjoying this recently. Hmm. That'll do. Ooh, will it? Yeah, that'll do. And let's see if we can uh, get them to at least look roughly the same. At least try and get them at the same height. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely loving this brow gel again brow gel brow pomade i know it's like liner and brow gel but is it more pomadey i don't know <laughs> i haven't got the answer to that <laughs> and i haven't got a clue what's going on in my brain but apparently that's what i need to be thinking about hmm So yes, I have just exciting new products that I cannot wait to film with and I'm so desperate too, but I only have one, one me and one face and I don't have kind of the energy or I find it like difficult filming just one thing in a day and um, sometimes I can't even do that. Um, I'm in a lot of pain but I try to I try to film as much as I can because it's kind of the one thing that makes me feel like I'm not useless. And also makeup's the one thing that it's like like calming, like a therapy. Good for the mental health. Hence Karma Chameleon. Um if you don't know already, I named it Karma Chameleon because like mental health is something we all have, whether it be good, bad, somewhere in the middle. Um, but that's just it. It it changes um, from person to person, from day to day, from you know time to time. It changes in the same way a chameleon changes colour. So that's where 
that's where the name was born from for any of you wondering why on earth I would name a makeup video Karma Chameleon and I am a sucker for play on words and Karma Chameleon was the first single I ever had my mum got me the <laughs> the 12 inch single Karma Chameleon for my second birthday I thought he was a pretty dolly and so yeah I had a poster of him on my wall <laughs> so that I don't know, so I could see the pretty dolly. Um, but yeah, the Karma Chameleon has just kind of been that one song that... Yeah, it's a happy, happy song as well. So to be able to... To be able to use that in the play on words that just meant that bit more to me. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Because I'm pretty sure I've gotten to a point now that... I don't make much sense at all. Let's just get them to spike up a little bit. Yeah, completely fallen in love with this brow gel again. And is that better? Do they match? Uh, no. No, they don't. Do I care? No. They will be what they will be today. This is it. <laughs> I need... Oh, crikey. I need to run and grab a water because my tongue and my lips are sticking to my teeth and my mouth it's so dry so I'll be back in just a moment okay so I am back with a bottle of water and my eye primer I'm going in with today is the Juvia's Place Prep Prime Eye Primer I have it in shade 1 I'm so excited to try this oh, it's lighter than I was expecting so this is the shade there so fingers crossed And that's so far so good like in colour it reminds me a little bit of the ABH primer it does seem a little almost kind of more sticky is it sticky um, yeah it feels like it's going to grip well does that make sense i hope it does and half the time i end up talking about things and i think god did i actually make any sense at all and yeah i i still don't know the answer to that i'm sure most people in my life just nod and smile a lot of the time <laughs> but that's okay I'm not sure I'd understand me either. <laughs> and the other eye. So, first impressions just putting it on. Yeah, not half bad. It does take some kind of warming up to get it to move around. Yeah, it definitely does seem like it's going to just grip the shadows really well I just hope not too well that they don't move around on top although the eyeshadow palette I'm going in with today is kind of new to me I know the formula of Juvia's and that I love it um, so yeah <laughs> And although it's new to me, it's not a new palette that's out. So that's why 
it made it into Karma Chameleon and not its own video. Okay. Well, this seems pretty okay to me. Hmm. I'm just going to just tap it in with my finger because I just find that this kind of melts them into the skin a bit more and it just evens them out a bit I don't like to to set my eye bases I think the only time I would set it if I think the only time I would set my eye base is if I wanted a really kind of natural soft <laughs> not really what I do so yeah let's just <laughs> go with that but I prefer an unset base so hmm so on first impressions I'm I'm quite liking it so as you will have seen by the thumbnail and the title the palette we are using today is the Wahala 2 from Juva's Place I've just been dying to get this look at that absolutely stunning I have no idea what I want to do but I do know I want to go in with Fury first this blue I absolutely love Juvia's Place palettes. I have quite the collection of them now. Nowhere near all of them, but Ooh. I do like this blue. But yeah, whilst it's kind of nowhere near all of them, it's still there's a fair few in my collection. So yeah, this being such a big and colourful palette, I kind of, I, I was desperate to add it to my collection. And it does have glitters in, and as I discovered with the, is it the Nubian Royal palette? I love their glitter formula. So... But I won't be trying that out today because I... I'm dying to try these shimmers. Yeah, just as I thought, it's definitely gripping the shadow. So we'll find out in a moment if, if it affects the blending. I hope not. But we shall see. I've not actually watched any reviews on this eye primer. So it initially wasn't planning on getting it but here we are I don't tend to plan on getting most things they just appear magic makeup fairy is what I'm going with Okay. All right, so now we've got that colour down, I'm just literally ever so gently going to just smudge the edges. So I'm going in with another shade to kind of blend it out a bit and just so that I can try more shades. OK, 
Okay, and and for the outer part of my crease, I am going in with Egba Me. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but sorry. And this is a deep green. Ooh. It's like a beautiful sea green. I love this already. This shade is just everything. Oh my word. Oh my word. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I am definitely in love with this shade already. And I'm just gently going to go over that line. Oh my word, look how easily they blended together. I don't know why I'm particularly surprised because it's Juvia's Place and Juvia's Place does have an amazing formula. And I'm just bringing it just onto the very outer edge there. That is creasing a bit still. As long as it doesn't crease with the eyeshadows on, that's all that matters to me. So I do want to really build this up. I really want the intensity in these shadows. So yeah, this is looking absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to, again, just smudge the edges ever so slightly. That'll do for now. We can always uh, mess about with that in a bit. Oh dear. Become a chameleon. I try very hard not to have like any plan. I just want to kind of go with it because it's all about just playing with makeup. Just using it as a, a therapy if, to just to, I don't know. Help oh, feel good. And colour is wonderful at doing that. I mean, how can you be unhappy when you look this colourful? Right, I've gone up a little bit higher. I have no idea why, I just felt like it. And again, just on the very outer edge. Wow. This colour is stunning. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that in different ways, but this is a beautiful shade. And I said it again. It's all good. pretty have I built that side up enough no not yet and again I forgot to do eyes first but now yeah, we're we're rolling with it And then going back in with Fury, the blue, I'm going to bring that up higher as well.
these shades are just truly beautiful and they work together just perfectly again just slightly going over the the join there just to blend them together beautiful so to blend out the blue i'm going to go in with wicked which is a a lighter blue the hair on my brush and i'm literally just doing that a little bit at a time just right oh what's it called wicked wicked i don't know if i just said that or not this shade's called wicked But yeah, just using it to just soften, soften the edge there. Oh, I think that's done a pretty good job. okay and then for the green i'm going to go in with oh, what am i going to go in with i'm going to go in with jealous this one here i do love Julia's place formula so much if i haven't already said that like a million times there's just something really special about it and especially their shimmers they really know how to create the most beautiful shimmers which is why today i will not be using the glitters because i have seen some shimmers that i really really want to use so we are going with that that is the perfect color to blend out i will go back in with the deeper green um, just to make sure it's not lost but yeah 50% on 50% off I'm just kind of dab kind of tap and wiggle Okay, and then back in with Egg Bar Me, the deeper green, and just gently blending that into the blending out shade. Jealous. Beautiful. I'm putting such light pressure using the lightest touch to blend out. And back in with a bit of fury. I think we've taken the green way too far over the blue here. Beautiful. I'm loving this. 
Okay, so the first shimmer I'm going in with is Money. And I haven't put down any glitter primer or anything because I know that Juvia's shimmers don't need it. Just look at that. They are so beautiful. They do one of the best shimmer formulas out there. Look at that. So pretty. There's definitely something, something really special about these shimmers. Look at this. I did have a bit of a swatch of a few of them. And I'm so excited to, uh, to try more from this palette. This is kind of a like blue to green shift. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. And then the next shimmer is Hater. This one here. And I'm going to place that right next to Money. Not that much between them colour wise. There is a difference. Yeah, it's not a drastic one. Still looks absolutely beautiful. I've been uh, trying to hold off on doing green like predominantly green looks as much because I find that I will head for it if I can and it's not going to be everyone else's cup of tea so I do try to mix it up a bit just you know just add add some more colors there I do love to work with other colours too. I'm just instantly drawn to the greens. Oh, look at that. So the last shade for my lid, I've definitely got hair there somewhere. So the last shade for on my lid I'm going in with is Venom. Which looks absolutely stunning. And I'm just going to place Venom in the space that was left open. I think these three have just created a really nice gradient. Yeah, there's definitely not the biggest of differences between them, like when you put them next to each other but I can imagine next to another colour they would show up quite different. Yeah I can definitely see a difference between them though.
absolutely beautiful wow so for under my eye i'm first going to go in with too much which is this really bright pink i'm so excited to do a pink and green look which again if you are not new to my channel you will probably already know that is one of my absolute favorite color combos so i'm just kind of tucking that up in quite close to the lash line there i just want to make sure i've got the color got it down as kind of bright as i can get it there oh this is so pretty Took way too much there this is just so pigmented and beautiful I am utterly in love with this palette. I'm hoping that no one wants a kind of top 10 palettes of the year when we get to the end of the year because I don't think, I think we're going to need like a top 20 <laughs> because there has just been so many just amazing amazing palettes come out this year amazing and i'm going to blend the edges of that with yab just to soften those edges a bit do i want you yeah So just going in just on the very edge, not picking up the green like I just did. Right, let's yeah. I love how their palettes kind of make it so that pretty much any colour combination in here would look nice would look nice would look really good together I am loving that. I do, however, want to take... I'm just going to use that same brush that I used for Yab there. And I'm just going to go into Egba Me, the deeper green, just a tiny bit, just to kind of kind of connect the upper and lower lids like just on the very very outer edge there oh, this is working beautifully I have absolutely zero complaints zero this is just so so beautiful so beautiful Okay, so for the 
inner corner and brow bone highlight I'm going to be using ooh, I'm going to be using Fame this one here because I'm pretty sure that has a green tinge as well so let's have a see This is a bit flaky. Looking good. It's definitely a slightly flakier formula and I did have to kind of break through almost a a layer to be able to pick up enough on the brush as you may have noticed just when I first started it didn't there wasn't much there but now I've got through that kind of layer that was holding me back it picks up beautifully Yeah, I try to with any shade that doesn't pick up very well on a brush initially I always try and break through the top layer first to see if that is the issue because I think it's too easy to just blame blame the uh, eyeshadow for not picking up well on a brush okay so with that shade being more on the flaky side I have decided to go in with Shakara for the brow bone highlight I think it is going to look beautiful yeah it's a lot more of the uh, regular formula from uh, Juvia's and that looks beautiful do love an icy highlight what brow bone highlight with kind of greens and blues I just think it really it makes sense I think I might even take a bit of that and kind of just smack that right in the very inner corner bit there. I think where this is flaky it's kind of spread out a bit. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so going in with mascara, I'm first going to curl my lashes with my amazing cheap lash curlers that are fantastic. They are from She Glam, which is on Sheen, Shane, I don't know how to pronounce it, but these I highly, highly, highly recommend. They are so good. We could do with being like a bit smaller maybe because they are quite large like that way length way but that's literally my only qualm with them okay and then mascara, of course, is the Medeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. It's 
Okay, so I'm going in with the Lush Adhesive Eyeliner from Yvette Beauty. I did receive this in PR and I love it. So I kind of mix between using this and Catitude from Artitude Cosmetics. And the lashes are Queen from Altitude Cosmetics. As you can see, it really is that easy to use these um, like liner lash adhesives. Beautiful. If you are in the UK or closer to the UK, the Catitude 2-in-1 Liner and Lash Adhesive from Artitude Cosmetics is fantastic and if you are in America or nearer there the Yvette Beauty Lash Adhesive Liner is amazing from there so yeah wherever you are there's an amazing one near or nearish to you So with lashes on now, I'm going to go with the Ciate London Chisel Eyeliner. I find this really good for tight lining when it's needed. I'll try and do it so you can see. So I'm just literally just colouring in the gaps between my lashes and the falsies. Can you, I don't know if you can see the difference between there and here. You've got loads of gaps there. Oh, missed a bit there. So I'm just doing the same on this side. So for my waterline, I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Lux Lux liner in Scorpio. Scorpio is my star sign, so I like that. And it's kind of almost like an aubergine brown. Aubergine brown? I don't know, you'll see. Now I just figured this would kind of go with the colours. Beautiful. Plus I was trying to use a few of my Juvia's Place products that I haven't even tried yet. So yeah, first time using. Easy to use, nice, fairly creamy, good stuff. Right, what are we on now? Bronzer. I don't have 
I don't have a Dubious Place bronzer. I do, however, have Nabla Skin Bronzing in June. So another indie brand. Let's find a bronzing brush. Bronzing brush, anyone? You'll do. So I'm kind of bronzing, stroke contouring at the same time. This is one of my one of my favourites. I think this might well be my favourite bronzer I do however want one of the slightly darker colours but on the websites now I can't quite work out which one is like the shade up from this but without being too warm so what I love about this is it's it's not too warm and not only is it not too warm it's also like it gives a real bronzed look without looking fake bronzed. I don't know if that makes sense to you all because I know what I mean. Right. And I'm just going to create the shadow to hopefully hide the second chin. So, for blush, I am going into the Queen palette. It's a collaboration between Fumi and Juvia's Place. And inside this is what she looks like. And I am going to go in with seven today. I haven't tried these yet. I am so excited to. So excited. So... Oh crikey, she is extremely pigmented. <laughs> so yeah, don't go wiggling your brush in there like I just did. Or you will end up with a lot. Like I just did. Oh, wow, that is... That is a lot of blush. Okay, I have absolutely no doubt that this will show up on every skin tone there is. <laughs> so I am just taking my powder brush to try and tone that down a bit. Because as much as I love a bald statement blush um, this just looks like I'm really embarrassed <laughs> okay I think <laughs> that's about as tame as I'm going to get it that's pigmented super super pigmented so I do have a Juvia's Place loose highlighter, which is why I didn't go into the one in there. And this is in the shade Nefertiti. It's the Nubian by Juvia's highlighter. And I've still got the little sticky tab in there. Sticky tab. This one actually has a tab. Which, oh, and we're out. So I've literally just tapped into the thing and then I'm just tapping excess off in the lid. Oh, this is pretty. Also, the... Uh, brush I'm using is from Juvia's Place. It is their JP 
well, Juvia's Place, Highlighter Brush 01. This is just beautiful. Oh, I really love this. And for any of you that are going to be entering my giveaway, there is one of these highlighters in one of the little bundles. And it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to take the blusher brush over the edge just to make sure they are blended together nicely. I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. So I'm just putting a little bit on my nose and upper lip there. So I do also have a Juvia's Place lipstick. So this is the Juvia's Place Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nefertari. Beautiful red. I think it is going to go perfect with this look. Oh, it might even be a hot pink looking at this. Oh, it smells of something. It reminds me like school school gym rooms. You know those ones where you had the soft mats and the climbing bits that pulled out from the wall? It's not an unpleasant smell. But, yeah, it's actually really easy to apply. I am terrible at applying lipstick. So I don't often do it on camera. And there we have it, the finished look. Let me know what you think either in the live chat, if uh, we're chatting in there, or if you're watching at a later time or date, let me know in the comment section below. So guys, if you've liked this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you are new around here, just discovered, not your basic stuff, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I do a lot of very colourful makeup. I'm a huge supporter of indie brands. And we have Karma Chameleon every Saturday, which is a wonderful place to be. The live chat is always so much fun. I always come away from it feeling really, really good. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. Thank you so much for joining me today, whether you're in the live chat or you're watching at a later time or date. Thank you so, so much. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.